What's going on YouTube? Today I have a review video for you guys. Uh, I will be reviewing the Top Deck 16 Pocket Binder, uh, which is the first 16 Pocket Binder I've ever seen. S piqued my interest. I reached out to them and I was like, hey, would you guys mind sending me a binder to, to review on my channel? And they're like, sure, give us your address. So they sent me a black one here. They actually asked me what color I wanted, uh, which is super nice of them. I had these colors to choose from. Yellow, blue, green, white, and black. Um, I'm a pretty plain guy. I'll I'll start with the black binder usually, and then I'll move to the colors after I fill it up. But um, this thing's massive. This thing's freaking huge. Uh, they sent me a couple things actually. They sent me the binder, and they sent me three of these little bags here, which contain outer and inner sleeves, which I will be going uh, getting into and comparing them to Dragon Shield and Penny sleeves, which, which I have here on my right side. And I got my tape measure to measure everything just to see how it compares to the other binders that I use. So let's go ahead and take this out and put the bag aside. Uh, yeah, this thing, this thing's freaking huge. Yeah, I got a lighting energy there. Um, it's, it's massive. It's a four by four binder. So there's four rows, four columns. Um, to give you a comparison here, this is my 12 pocket ultra bow bind, uh, ultra pro binder that I use for my collection. I have, about uh, eight or nine of these that I use for my uh, my entire collection. Um, pretty big binders in themselves with one extra row. The top deck is a lot bigger. And to give you a more size comparison here, this is my Pikachu nine pocket binder that I picked up the other day, which I've been putting uh, my Lost Origin set in. And I'll be putting um, Silver Tempest when that comes out. Uh, but yeah, this is the nine pocket binder from Ultra Pro. The smallest binder you can get, that's a nine pocket here. Um, three cards across, three cards down. Um, this one here, you get your, your 12 pocket from Ultra Pro. Ultimate Guard makes these as well. I do prefer the, I do prefer the, the uh, Ultra, uh, Ultra Pro ones. But yeah, this is, a, this is a, your standard 12 pocket for your decks and stuff. Um, I, I love these binders. I, I have so many of them. They're, they're, they are pretty expensive. I think they start out like $30, $35 when they come out. Some local game stores have them for a little bit more um, just because they're local game stores. Uh, but yeah, this is the 12 Pocket. But we're not going to be talking about that. We're talking about this behemoth of a freaking binder, which is the 16 Pocket. And to give you a size comparison here or miss some measurements, it's just over six, 17 and a half inches uh, tall and about 13, about 13 and a half wide. Um, and it does expand quite a bit. Let's see how much it expands. Uh, if I, if you fill up this binder, it's about two and a half, uh, kind of see there, two and a half inches, um, tall there or wide, I guess. Uh, but let's go ahead and open this thing up and I will show you guys what's inside. Let's move the little sleeves to the side there. Um, but yeah, 16 pockets. I saw this and I was like, man, this thing is so cool. It fits just over a thousand, uh, a thousand cards. There are 32 pages in total, 15 on or 16 on each side. Here's the halfway point. Uh, but yeah, this thing is super huge. You are definitely not going to fit this in a standard bookshelf. Uh, you'll be you'll be able to fit it in one of those like uh, storage shelves they have like in your garage or something. That'll fit just fine depending on how high the shelves are. Uh, but yeah, super big. I'm gonna go ahead and compare everything and just see how everything fits just to make sure the uh, the sizes of all the pockets are uniform because ultra pro does have some issues where some of the pockets are smaller or bigger depending on which row you're in and i did test this earlier but obviously nothing sleeved is going to have an issue getting in it's going to come in and out just fine where it does become an issue is if you're using a penny sleeve i do use penny sleeves for my collection here Common, uncommon, doesn't matter what it is. I put it in a penny sleeve and then I put it in the binder. Um, reason being is that penny sleeves take up the most space in a pocket here, which means they will not, they won't move. The cards won't move. They'll just stay there. No matter how many times you flip the pages or drop it or anything, they just don't move. Um, yeah, they are slick, but because they're big and sometimes they're a tight fit, uh, they they fit just fine. They, they won't be coming out. This one here, let's see. Ooh. Here we go. So this is what I mean, right here. This 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 one right here, this uh third slot here. While I can fit a penny sleeve just fine, it was kind of a tight squeeze. So these ones down here, that one fit 
a lot easier. This one, a lot easier. No problem there. This one's actually a little bigger than, than the rest. You can actually move it up and down. This one on the very top, kind of a tight fit. I gotta be really careful not to bend the corners on the penny sleeve or ruin the card. So um, I guess, I mean, it, it's a pretty common issue with these types of binders. Not every pocket's gonna be the exact same dimensions. Some of the rows will have uh, more room than others, but it, it's really just, uh, the issue is really just a penny sleeve if you use penny sleeves for your collection. If you use something like a Dragon Shield, you won't have an issue. Uh, to give you a, a size comparison between a penny sleeve and a, and a uh, Dragon Shield, the penny sleeve is going to be just a little taller, just by a smidge there. Uh, but obviously, in that pocket that was having issues, this third one, it's going to fit just fine. Not an issue there. Let's go to some random page. Yeah, no problem. And because they have a textured back, uh, I do like Dragon Shields um, for uh, for these types of binders just because the textured back kind of grips the, the backing on this, which is really nice. Um, let's go ahead and take this out. Let's go over the outers and inners that they sent me. They sent me three of these, three sets of these in total. I believe, I think it's 100, uh, but they are perfect fit sleeves which are smaller than than penny sleeves let me take the energy out just to give you a size comparison here so penny sleeves on my right hand and a uh perfect fit on my left so the perfect fit's going to be a little a little uh a little shorter which if you use perfect fits for your cards here they'll fit in the pages just fine and they actually have outer sleeves now the outer sleeves i i do want to ask them because they are they're basically dragon shields. This is a dragon shield on my left, on my right hand. This is the top deck uh, outer sleeve on my on my left hand. And the front clear, smooth. The back textured, matte. They are basically here's a, a, a double sleeved in in their in their setup here. So we got their perfect fit in their outer sleeve. It's kind of a tight fit actually. There's a little bit of uh, uh, crumpling up on the top here. I don't necessarily know that I would double sleeve with their inners and outers, but it is meant to double sleeve because the packet that they come in, you have inners and outers in this bag, and the back actually tells you, you know, inner sleeve and then an outer sleeve. So they actually tell you to load the card upside down. And let's put it all right side up here. Um, I never really had any good luck doing this. See, it, it's. It kind of it, it won't really fit unless you kind of jam it in there. There we go. Um, but I have a I, ha I do have issues with putting them this way just because when you kind of put the card in, you kind of have to grab it really tight and push the card in. But as you can see, now I got a little floppy area there. It exposed on the bottom, so I don't really like loading cards that way. I kind of just load them in the normal way. If you do like putting them upside down with the four-way coverage. I do recommend Dragon Shield's um, four-way sleeves. They're about yay long, and they have a flap that kind of folds over itself, and you got four-way coverage. That way, when you push it down into a, a sh an outer sleeve like this, you won't get any bunching or anything. But I don't necessarily... Maybe this is just a bad sleeve. Let me try a different one. Again, this is my first impressions here. I haven't taken a look at anything before recording here uh, that fit a lot better not much crumpling up on the top here so maybe this this sleeve is a little inconsistent there or maybe just the outer sleeve is a little smaller than normal but that's kind of what I what I got dealt uh, which is fine not a huge issue not every not every penny sleeve is going to be or perfect fit sleeve is going to be uh, the best here but penny sleeves is what I use on these types of binders and they fit just fine here um, random. Let's go to another random page here. Yeah, no problem. Um, compare it to my Ultra Pro, it's basically the same thing. You just get an extra row at the bottom. You get 16 cards per page. You get 32 pages. That's just over a thousand cards. That's a lot of cards. And the fact that it can expand about two and a half inches um, tells you even single or double or no sleeve, it, it'll accommodate pretty much anything. You got a hard back or uh, hard front there and you got a hard back there and what i do really like about this binder is the pull tab on the zipper 
The zipper is actually really smooth. It doesn't get caught on any of the pages. Uh, but the pull tab is freaking huge. It's really long. <laughs> it's a couple inches there. Um, I do like it. Not bad. Um, we got a little excess on the left here, so we could just tuck that in. Not not a huge issue. Um, what I don't like is when binders close at the bottom because when you rest it on a shelf, you get the zipper pushing on the bottom of the binder. This closes at the top, which I'm a huge fan of. I do prefer the zippers closing at the top, but I highly recommend this. I actually... I'm going to reach out again because they do have a top loader binder that I'm super interested in. Uh, top Deck, if you're watching this video, if you want to send me a top loader binder for me to review, I will definitely review it and compare it to my top loader binder that I have. Completely different brand, not as not the best quality, so I, I do want to compare quality and how it uh, holds up based uh, based on what I put in it and and how I protect my cards and how I'm using my current top loader binder just to see the comparison there but for this 16 pocket thumbs up for me i do like it i'll probably end up ordering different colors uh again they got yellow blue green white and black black is usually what i start with and then i move on to the colors one thing to note though if you do get any of the colored binders yellow blue green or white the pages will correspond to the color of the binder black binder black pages if you get a yellow binder you're going to get yellow pages green Green pages, blue, blue pages, white, white pages. Um, I necessarily am not a huge fan of the colored pages. I would prefer to have a colored outside with black pages on the inside. That's just how all the Ultra Pro ones are. That's kind of what I'm used to. So this is a red binder that I have from Ultra Pro. This is their 12 pocket and they have black pages um, on the inside, not necessarily the red pages. Um, also, this uh, this side on the top deck, it is black, but on the colored ones, it is going to correspond to the color of the of the binder there. So if you do get a white binder, you're going to have basically white everything. Um, you, the only black is going to be the zipper. The zipper doesn't really ch the, the doesn't change uh, the color there. Um, the texture on the on the front, kind of a kind of a rough texture. I do like it. Big fan. Same on the back. Same on the spine. And to compare it to my Ultra Pro, this is kind of like a, um, like a faux sway, kind of a sway binder, I guess. And then the night pocket is their faux leather, their faux leather uh, uh, binder there, which I really like. But I do like this texture. The stitching on it is pretty, is pretty good. You got a little bit of fray right here. You can actually just cut that off just fine. Um, but the stitching is pretty good. I did notice. Um, the uh, the side here or the corner is a little bent. I don't know, maybe from shipping. They did ship it uh, through Amazon, and you know someone left it at my front door. So I don't necessarily know if it was if it came like that or maybe the shipping had the corner bent like that. Um, but it's not going to affect anything here. It is hard enough to where it's not going to damage the card. So if if you had this loaded with cards and it did drop on that corner, I would be pretty confident that the cards would be fine. Um, but yeah. Not a, not a bad binder. This is the first 16 pocket binder. So you may, well, you may see a lot more in the future. I know top loader binders were pretty rare. Um, there was a company that made top loader binder where it would be pretty narrow, but pages folded out, but it was super expensive. Um, I think it was like over a hundred dollars, but the, this retails, I believe for $69.99. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'll, I'll leave the price up on the screen if it, if it is wrong. But I think this is $69.99. It's an expensive binder, but again, it holds over a thousand cards. So um, a 12 pocket binder will hold 480 cards. A nine pocket binder will hold 360 cards. So kind of price difference there. Uh, I believe nah, the nine pocket binders, they usually retail for about $20. The 12 pockets are about $35. Uh, this is. Uh, about seventy dollars, I believe. Uh, so sixty nine ninety nine for over a thousand cards to fit. Love it. Highly recommend. I'll leave everything in the description down below if you guys are interested in the Top Deck uh, sixteen pocket binder. Um, if you guys want to watch me stream, I stream every Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. Every Friday, I open up Pokemon cards. So if you're interested in Pokemon cards, uh, catch me on Friday, and I will open some stuff up. Uh, Seven p.m. PST. I do play games on Mondays and Tuesdays. So if you guys want to watch me play games on Mondays and Tuesdays, you're more than welcome to join. Otherwise, guys, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.